In this module, we will be creating a lead process and corresponding record types. We are currently in the home page and we will now click on the gear icon to move on to the setup page. In the quick find search box, we will type in processes. And as you can see, Salesforce throws up a number of processes such as lead, sales and support processes. Now, lead process, uh, as the name indicates, is for leads and it helps you with the lead status field. And sales process uh, is for opportunities and it, and it helps provide the opportunity stage fields. Similarly, support, uh, support processes uh, helps with the case status fields. In this example, we will be creating a lead process. We go ahead and click on new. The existing lead process will be master because we currently don't have any other lead process. The lead process name will be travel segmentation. And let's click on save. Now these are the values that are currently available. We could uh, choose to remove or add. We'll click on save for now. Now, as you can see, we have the option to create a record type uh, on the setup page here itself. We click on lead record type. So the existing record type remains master. Record type label, we'll name it B2B. The record type name gets auto generated. We need to select the lead process and we'll select the one that we've just recently created that is travel segmentation. Now this remains active. We'll make it available for all the profiles for now and click on next. Now over here we have the option whether we want to apply one page layout to all the profiles. You could select from all the different types of layouts available or you could apply a different layout for each profile. So for example, I could go ahead and click on a different, uh, lead, lay on a different lead layout for system admin. I could let's say make it lead layout, but let's, I'll switch it back to its original for now and click on save and new. Now we'll be creating two record types. So our second record type will be for B2C. Following the same process, the lead process will again be travel segmentation. We'll make it active. We'll make it available for all the profiles. We can even select to make it default, but we'll go ahead and click on next. Again, uh, following the same process that we saw earlier, we could select uh, one layout for all the profiles or we could have a different layout for each profile. I would go ahead and pick the same layout for all the profiles and click on save. B2B and B2C are the two record types that we just created under lead. We can now go back and look how this looks in play. And for that, we could select one of the apps. Now, if I were to navigate to the leads tab and click on new, Salesforce now throws up a new dialog box that gives me the option to select a record type for the lead that I'm creating. I could select either B2B or B2C, the records that we just created and click on. And now we could go ahead and fill in all the necessary information and create a B2B lead. So that's all for creating a lead process and lead record types. Thank you.